hello friends today we are going to learn how to develop timer interrupt driver to generate one millisecond counter so let us get started step by step this is stm32 cube ide i will create here new project go to file and new and stm32 project and here click on board selector and type here nucleo f411re and select this and next type here project name timer interrupt counter and finish yes okay here we no need this ur click over here and reset this state okay and no need this button okay now go to timers and click on timer 2 and go to clock source and select here internal clock source okay now go to clock configuration set here 16 megahertz you can set whatever you required here i am setting 16 megahertz okay so uh, you can see do it 16 okay all peripherals are 16 megahertz okay so uh, here we are using timer 2 sorry here we are using timer 2 so we will uh, go through once data sheet okay and we will go to block diagram okay you can see timer 2 is connected this is 32 bit and it is connected on APB1 bus so we will consider its frequency only okay now go to parameter setting you can see this is 16 megahertz it means 16 million cycle will be executed in a second okay so if 16 million cycle will be executing in a second so in 1 millisecond 16,000 cycle will be executed okay here whatever we want period so i want to select one millisecond period and auto reload will be enabled and trigger event select will be update event okay and enable this global interrupt i think all settings are completed now just click on save it will generate a code yes yes now it is generating code so first of all i will remove these unnecessary lines and comment okay now go to drivers and go to hall drivers source and click on hall time dot c yes apply and okay now search hall team base okay copy this function and paste here and pass here 
address of timer two handler. Okay. Close this. Sorry. Okay. Now go to again all team dot c and search here all team period here callback handler is there not this one okay copy this and paste here remove this thing okay and right here count plus plus when it will be called then count variable will be increase okay count zero okay so uh, now code is ready uh, we are not going to toggle or blink LED. Now we are generating a counter of one millisecond. Okay. So now click on debug. Okay. Select here debugger and enable the stilling serial scan and apply and okay and okay okay go to live expression here count is already there i will uh, use here one breakpoint okay now start okay okay now again resume okay now i will remove this breakpoint okay go to live expression and resume you can see this number is increasing with one millisecond okay so friends i hope you enjoyed this video if you really like this video so Please do like, subscribe and share. Thanks for watching.